Hello everyone, it's the Juilliard here with Artful Elements and welcome to the studio and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere we go, including here in the studio. <laughs> We're talking trees, jazzy glass trees today. I am so excited. This is one of my favorite things to make and Everybody, every class, every workshop that I take, um, they seem to love it. So um, I'm gonna grab our jazzy glass tree here for you to see. And uh, you can see it has those little twinkle lights and all of its little glitter and glory and it's got its base. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make this, okay? And you can use the technique that I'm showing you and the way that I do it, you can use this for pretty much anything. So any shape, just you will be able to do it if you just follow these quick and easy steps, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna set that tree right over there. All right. So you're like, what's this funny looking A thing, right? <laughs> okay, well, um, you'll need jazzy glass um, and glitters and you know, this year, this season, it's all about, you know, natural recycling and, you know, uh, creating with a lot of the things that we have on hand um, just because of economics, right? We all know that. It's nothing new. Uh, we've been doing this for a little bit here now. So uh, this project can help you with that, okay? So what I've done is I've simply just, I, you have to have some aluminum foil, but I simply just sketched out um a Christmas tree so it's just a triangle right and then at the triangle here and I don't I can't zoom in so I'm just gonna move the thing you'll see here where I have added in the base of the tree now you could do just the triangle if you wanted to but um, I've added this area here for um, a base and um, we'll be using that area and filling it with goldie and then I'm using a blend of shamrock and um, our um, uh, let's see what color did I blend this time Oh, honeydew. So I have shamrock and honeydew blend for uh, the green part of the tree. And uh, yeah, so, okay. So basically what we're doing is we take our outline uh, and then around the parameter, you're gonna just snake you some aluminum foil. You put it around the edge and we just tape it down with a little bit of tape. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a piece of vinyl. This is vinyl table runner. Um, it's a little bit of the thicker, not the real thick. Um, it's like the medium because there's a really thin one and I do use it for certain projects, but uh, today we're using like a medium and you can kind of see here it's really nice. Why are we using this? Well, it becomes the release agent for whether we're using a two-part epoxy resin that you might have, uh, UV resin uh, if you've got it, um, Elmer's glue, hot glue, whatever, uh, it's gonna just help release. And if it doesn't, you can just cut it and trim it and it'll be the back side and who cares? So I'm gonna slide this sheet out of the way because I don't have the tree taped all the way down and I will grab the tree that I do have taped down. By the way, I keep these. I make these up. Um, the students that come in, they'll make them up. Uh, but then I also have some that I already have pre-made and we just keep them uh, in, in the studio because you can reuse them over and over again. But like I said, it could be, you know, a snowflake, a snowman. And actually that's one of the projects that I've got coming up for the season is we're going to do um, a snowman or a snow person. Yes, indeedy. Okay, so we got that, right? And everything. So now what we've done is because we've got the aluminum foil, and this plastic, we're creating a reservoir, okay? So this is our dam, and, and now we've got our little pond, and we're gonna just fill it up. I mean, it's just that simple. So we just start sprinkling it in. Because Jazzy Glass is real glass, and it's got a wonderful, you know, chemical resistant coating on there, um, you don't got to worry about if you use alcohol inks on this, your colors are not going to run if you were to spritz it or whatever. These are on there. Wait, okay, enough with that. So just kind of keep piling it in here and we're going to press it down to our shape. 
Now, let's say you wanted stripes in this. Like we do stripes, you just clear, make a band, uh, an area, and you just separate it like so. And then you would fill that area in with another color and so on and so forth. So you could do candy cane striped, uh, variegated. It really depends on what glass, uh, what, what jazzy glass that you get and you know, whatever else you wanna put in it. Cause you could put seashells in this. You could put really, like really cool like little pods or you know things that you've collected over the years maybe it's jewelry pieces uh, you know old pieces of jewelry and things um, you know maybe you <laughs> got a couple little miniature cars or some legos i mean this is about recycling as well as creating with a new product okay you can use pretty much anything to put in this look at that i mean it's just in there right we're gonna wear gloves when we're using the glass because it is glass, even though it is a safety glass, you can still get a little poke here and there if you're not careful. I also like to use the uh, plastic tweezers um, just to kind of move things around if you need to, especially when you're starting to use the resin. That way you're not getting your fingers all gunked up. So you could put down your glue or some resin if you want and then put the glass on top. But I prefer to put the glass down first and then drizzle the resins on or the glue on so that it really starts to bind all those little pieces together, okay? We, we're binding them together, creating one form, one shape. Okay, look at that color. It's magical. Okay, and then I have Goldie. Goldie is this really beautiful, we think it's beautiful, okay? Um, it has gold glitter in it and gold metallic, and then it's got the clear, and so it just, it catches the sparkle. And of course, this is in its raw state. Once it gets the glosses on, it even does that more. Um, and of course, you know, if you're like a lot of people, um, you know, like when you put the glitter on, it's not gonna come off. And so, you know, use glitter. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this project with a UV resin just to get it done for you for tonight for the video. But I really like to use my two-part. Um, I use my two-part liquid diamonds. Uh, and I have used Elmer's glue with some uh, kids' glasses and stuff like that, uh, where especially you can't do that. Uh, you can do it with the hot glue, like I said. But anyway, we're gonna use UV resin. I have all these different little sprinklies like all kinds of, you know, beads from other projects, glitters from other projects. I love this. Oh, you're gonna love, I love rhinestone. And so this is just rhinestone tape. You can get the ones that are a little sticky. Here's, you know, rhinestones for the nail art um, that are perfect. You know, make this a family project if you can. Really make this a family project because these trees are great in areas where you can't put up a full-size tree. Maybe you have a small apartment, uh, you know, uh, or a room that, you know, you just can't do that, or a hallway where you only have room for a tiny table or a shelf, right? These are perfect for that, and especially because we put those little tiny um, fairy lights on there, so you can light it and, uh, you know, but it just, it just adds a little sparkle and it's festive, right? Um, you know, mixed glitters. This is a really good one here. Um, pretty blend of colors. So anyway, I, you get the point. You get the point that we're not just doing the base. We're going to add decorations to it. So here's what we do. We're going to take the, the resin and we'll just start drizzling. Now it's cool in the studio tonight, so um, it's a little thicker than it normally is. But just like chocolate sauce, just drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. I'm just gonna just sprinkle some fusion flake on. Da 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 I'm gonna grab the lamp and I'm just going to start curing it. And it's nice to do this in a, for UV residents to do it in a well-ventilated area with your gloves and, and everything. Um, 
but uh, we'll come back. Okay, so now it's been curing for about five minutes. I mean, it's like literally seconds, but I always like to do it a little more, okay? You're really gonna depend on your re the resin that you use, okay? If you're gonna cure this overnight, you just leave it. Come back the next day, okay? Um, so we get the lamp off here. And now it's just as easy as just lifting it up. And look at there, it's like a slice of pizza. And we'll just go ahead and start peeling it off. If you lose a little bit of glass, what I say, it's no big deal. You can actually save these pieces for another project. Okay. Now that we've got it flipped over here, I'm going to just bring the light back up, turn it on. Just cure the back side. And like I said, now's the time if before we do mount it to a base or make a base for it and then mount it, you've got these options to where you can, you know, decorate it again if you would like. Um, you know, put more decorations on it. Uh, you can use hot glue to do that, but yeah. So, let me look that over. All right. So, let's flip it over here. Get these little pieces out of the way. Okay. Pretty pleased with that. Okay, so now that we have our tree, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a base for our tree. Now you can have it shaped, um, but I like to just take the tree, put it on my thing, and you might need to trim, like if you've got a piece that's a little long at the bottom there, just make sure you got your protective eyewear on and your gloves on. Kind of trim that up a little. And then you can just take some glass. I'm just gonna pile that up there like so. And then I'm gonna glue it and cure it. Right. So here we go. We have our tree. Now we just take the base loose from our vinyl. We're gonna save our vinyl because you know we're gonna be making more of those trees, right? <laughs> okay. There's our tree, our jazzy glass tree. Okay, so you have that tree. What we do is just put on some of these little feet. These are these little lights. And all you do is take your fairy light, just twist it around the top up here. I like to turn them on so I can see. So we'll just pull out that little tab and turn them on so we can see and then just start turning our tree and then I just put this right behind there we just mount just gonna mount that right on the back side of the tree there so that way you can control that let's put it like that and I usually just stick that down with a, a glue dot okay or some hot glue but anyway glue dot I like because I can redo it even a piece of velcro um, but you can come in now, you can adjust your, your little lights. You could hang little Christmas ornaments on here, those little micro ornaments. You can, yeah, you, I don't need to tell you what to do. You're creative, come on. Listen, I made the jazzy glass and you can make the project. Right here, shows you, proof, boom, done. Okay, so cute, so simple. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you have any questions or you know need any help with anything, you know I'm always here. Um, so thanks for watching. This is the Julie Art signing off. And uh, don't forget to visit artfilaments.com to purchase you some of our jazzy glass. Thanks guys. Have a happy holiday.